Hello everyone, it is good to be with you today. Today we are going to continue with our journey through the Old Testament with the story about the birth of Moses. But first, please join me in worshipping the Lord and sing the songs with me.
last week our memory verse was Ephesians 4 verse 32. Be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. Today our memory verse is Psalm 121 verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Please say it with me. Psalm 121 verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Join me as we sing one more song. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You have been so, so kind to me. Many years passed between the story of Joseph and the story of Moses. Joseph and all his brothers had died and a new generation was living in Egypt. The Israelites who were living in Egypt increased in number and in wealth. A new Pharaoh now ruled Egypt and he was not a friend of God's people. The Pharaoh decided to destroy the Israelites and force them to become slaves. They had to make bricks and work in the fields, but still God blessed them. Then the cruel Pharaoh made a terrible decision on what he was going to do next. And this is where our story begins. We read about this in Exodus 1 to 10. Please watch this video with me to see what happened. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses. Hey Moses was a descendant of Joseph's brother, Levi. Hey. Joseph and his brothers had many children and grandchildren who lived happily in Egypt. 
Eventually, a new pharaoh came to power who knew nothing of Joseph or what he had done. This pharaoh feared the Israelites because there was a great number of them living in Egypt, so he wanted to put a stop to their prosperity. Pharaoh made the Israelites slaves. He made them work long, hard hours building up Egyptian cities. But his plan didn't work, and the Israelites grew more in number and in strength. Eek. So Pharaoh made a rule that no Israelite boy would be allowed to live in Egypt. This is where Moses' story begins. You see, when Moses was born, his mother saw that he was a special baby. Hmm. And she kept him hidden for three months. But when she could no longer keep him a secret, she made a basket and put him in the Nile River among the reeds. Moses' sister stayed to watch what would happen to her baby brother. And soon the pharaoh's daughter came to the edge of the river. When she saw the basket, hey. she sent her servant to get it. When she saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, uh -huh. thinking he must be an Israelite baby who wasn't supposed to live. Then Moses' sister asked the princess if she would like her to find an Israelite woman to take care of the baby. Uh -huh. So Moses' sister went and got her mother. Moses' own mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's house, where the princess adopted him as her son. And so Moses, an Israelite boy who wasn't supposed to live, became the adopted grandson of the Pharaoh and lived in the palace as God prepared him for a great destiny that was only just starting to unfold. What an amazing story of two mothers who loved their child and God's protection and care. Moses grew to be one of the greatest leaders the people of Israel has ever known. And it all started with a little baby hidden in the tall bushes down by the river. In today's Bible lesson, Moses' mother watched over him and protected him, just as God is watching over us and protecting us. We use many things to protect us, for instance, helmets, gloves, and heavy coats in the winter. People also protect us from harm, such as firefighters, police, and lifeguards. God's protection is always there, even when we don't know it. He has a plan for us, just as he did for Moses. Although things may seem difficult at the time, God is always working in us for the good. Let us pray. Dear God, just as the mother of Moses watched over her son and protected him, you love and care for your children. You watch over us and protect us. We thank you for your love and protection. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are closing this lesson with one more song. Please sing with me.
you now have time to do the activities that goes with this lesson. May God bless you. See you next week.